Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is first lecture. Uh, this is actually the course overview for the Graph Theory Part Two course. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about the algorithms that we are going to study in this uh, Part Two of Graph Theory series. So the order of these algorithms may be different, but these are the things that we we would study. First is LCA, that is lowest common ancestor. Finding the LCA of two nodes in a given tree in log n time. We'll be using a binary lifting to calculate LCA in log n time. So if you have no idea what LCA is, so you are given a tree, and then you would be given two nodes, and you have to find uh, their LCA. So for example, three and four have node two as their LCA. So what is an LCA? So, LCA is the the node uh, that is deepest from the root, uh, and the nodes A and B both are descendant of that node. So, if you see from root, uh, node two is having three and four both as its descendant, and uh, for one as well, three and four are its descendant. But the deepest node is two, so two is LCA of three and four. And for three and five, uh, three and five, see, uh, in the subtree of one we have three and five. In the subtree of two also we have three and five. Uh, but uh, apart from one and two, there are no nodes in which subtree we have both the nodes. Basically, there are no, uh, there is no other node whose descendant three and five are. So the deepest node is two. So uh, LC of three and five also is two. Now LC of uh, seven and eight is seven. Uh, if uh, uh, both the nodes lie on the same what we call uh same path from root to some leaf then the the one which comes before or basically the one which is at the lower depth is known as lca because when we are talking about the descendants then each node is also its descendant so in the subtree of 7 7 and 8 both lie in the subtree of 3 7 and 8 both lie and so goes for 1 2 3 as well so the deepest node is 7 that is why LCA of 7 and 8 is 7. So the LCA is used in many algorithms as a subroutine like uh, uh, in query on tree problems when we use Mohs algorithm we need to calculate LCA when you have to find uh, the difference or sorry the distance between two nodes in constant time then uh, you calculate their LCA so the overall time complexity for calculating distance between two nodes in tree takes log n time because of calculating LCA if you already have their LCA then you can calculate the distance between two nodes in constant time so this is LCA apart from that uh, we would study min max spanning tree so you are given a graph and you have to construct a spanning tree now what is a spanning tree or uh, minimum spanning tree uh, for a given graph I'm talking about a connected graph here for a given graph, if you remove some of the edges such that you have to uh, remove maximum number of edges, edges such that the graph still remains a connected graph. So if you see the connected component was 1 here and uh, we removed some of the edges and the number of connected components are still 1. If you remove one more edge then the number of connected components would increase that is the graph won't be connected anymore. So this is a spanning tree this is not a minimum spanning tree because the sum of the edges is 10 and uh, a minimum spanning tree in a minimum spanning tree the sum of the uh, weights of the edges is minimum in this case is it it is 10 for the mst of this graph the mst would have the total sum as 7 so this is minimum spanning tree while this is only a spanning tree uh, after spanning tree we would be studying oh sorry for calculating spanning tree we have two algorithms Kruskal's uh, algorithm and Prim's algorithm both offer the same running time uh, but uh, their implementation uses different data structure for Kruskal's algorithm you can implement it using uh, DSU that is disjoint set uni union and from uh, for Prim's algorithm you need priority queue so we would be studying both of the algorithms and we would be applying and studying the implementation of both Kruskal's algorithm and Prim's algorithm. After min-max spanning tree, uh, we would be going for the single source shortest path. 
that is you are given a graph and a source vertex and you have to find the minimum or shortest distance from source graph or uh, sorry sorry from source node to every other node in the graph there are two algorithms for this one is Dijkstra's algorithm and another one is Bellman Ford algorithm so we'll be studying both of these and also we'll be solving some of the problems uh, related to triple SP after that we will be going for all pair shortest path that is you are given a graph and you have to find the shortest path between each pair of nodes for that we have floyd warshall algorithm so we will be studying floyd warshall algorithm for all pair shortest path after that we will be studying uh, one of our favorite, uh, favorite topic that is centroid decomposition so let me show you what are the problems you can solve using centroid decomposition the first problem i want to show you is this prime distance on tree if you see the description is only of two line but the problem is actually hard from code chef and if you see in the tags you can see let me just increase the i think this should be visible now so in the tags you can see that there is dfs fft uh, and the problem can also be solved using FFT DFS because uh, uh, centroid decomposition uses DFS as subroutine so we will be solving this problem uh, prime distances uh, which is a hard problem the other problem also from code chef it is also a hard problem which is again uh, a tree problem query on tree which is black and white tree and then uh, there is a problem from hacker rank uh, BST maintenance and as you can see the difficulty level of this problem is advanced and uh, it, it offers you maximum score of 140 apart from this there are two problems also there are many problems but these are just to show you that how important central decomposition is so this problem is e xenia entry from code forces div 2 and you know how difficult for most of the people uh, div 2 enf problems are the problem is rated 2200 and it is a, an E problem. The other problem from uh, code forces, this is uh, seal the commander. This problem is D1, uh, D1C and is rated 2500. But in my opinion, I believe that uh, seal the commander is easier than Xenia entry. Though it is rated 2500, which is uh, rated higher than E. But that's my opinion. So these are the problems that you can solve once you have mastered or at least have basic knowledge and understanding of centroid decomposition we will be solving all those problems that I have shown you after that we will be studying we will be going for flow graph and min max flow uh, this one is considered to be a hard topic and it should be because there are not uh, not many uh, competitive programmers who have knowledge of this so, uh, I'm talking specifically about our country it's not like there are not uh, not people who understand it, but uh, the number of people are too, too, too less. So we'll be covering all these topics one by one, and and I assure you, after this, after going through all of this, you will be very confident in graph theory field with the problems of graph theory. So this was all about this lecture. So thank you guys for watching, and yep, keep coding. Thank you.